Hey, hi. This is Chit Chat. <laughs> so we cut we got back from the store. <clears throat> That's Chica. She got her ball. Look. She loves that thing. She already destroyed the the beeping thing on it. Or not the beepy, uh, squeaky. That's the first thing that goes. But she's happy. She was so happy when she saw that thing. She was like, oh! You know, because she hasn't had it for like a couple, well, yeah, a couple weeks. Because I haven't been by a PetSmart, you know? And they, I bought the only two they had. They said they had three, but there was only two there. So I took them both. <clears throat> um, I got Brian a little something to, you know that little uh, spiky ball right there. He likes it because it squeaks too. And just, you know, I bought a four pack of that. It was cheap, you know. Uh, Chica's was, wasn't. But it's okay because that thing is going to last for like a month. So that's cool, you know. Um, we went there. And then and then next door they had a Safeway. So, you know, I didn't go to Walmart. I went to the Safeway, got three bags of ice. Because the ice was going quick already, you know. Well, I mean, not really. I, I could have waited an extra day. But since I'm there anyways, I just get the ice. You know, usually that's what I'll do anyways. If I go into town, I always grab a bag of ice, you know. Because I know I got room for it. So, um, I went there and I got the wax paper. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, is I'm not going to set it up today. Because it's already like 6, six o'clock or something. I just fed them. Um, so yeah, and, and we did go to the lake. I almost skipped the lake because I was like, oh, it's late already. I didn't know it was that late. You know what? It wasn't even that hot today. I mean, it says that it was 92, but I was like doing stuff around here, you know, the watermelon. Oh, here, let me show you. <laughs> Look at this. This is all pure watermelon juice right here. I didn't add water. I didn't add sugar. Nothing. I have two of these about this full. Well, the other one's fuller. But, um, yeah, look at that. Mmm, smells so good. Maybe I'm going to have, like, a glass with my dinner, you know? Oh, I'll just leave it there. I'm not feeling that hungry right now. Well, I'm having snack right now. I'm having these. These kind of... These kind of cherries. I got them at, like, Whole Foods. I kind of went there to see if they had any uh, Jamaica. They didn't even have it. But they looked really colorful. They were, like, five fifty dollars for a, a bag of them. And I was like... Those must be extra sweet and extra special. They're not. They taste just like the other kind of cherries that were $3.99. You know, the regular, like, red-looking cherries? They don't, they don't, they're not special. I don't even know what the deal is with those. Anyways, I'm eating those. And uh, that's one thing I like to eat. I probably overeat is a fruit. Because if I feel like some sweet lately, it's been fruit. Because it's hot, you know, I think that's why. I have some bananas in there, but I should have bought some, another thing of cherries, but I kind of like the cherries right now. They're tasting good and the bag's almost done. So, um, but anyways, um, I had a word with someone today. Mm. So I found a really good trail just to follow this right here, right in front of, there's a road. Yes, baby. That's your toy. And so I followed the road. It's a nice walk. It's nice. It's peaceful. And, uh, you know, it takes you around the back and then it brings you out to the front again. It's a good walk, you know. And so I went that way. And, and you know, people have dogs, you know. And this lady close to here, she has her dog over there. But she was holding her dog as we passed. Like, I kind of noticed a little late. And I was like, oh, sorry, you know, because, yes, I know, babe. <laughs> she's she's so excited about that darn ball you know what i'm saying and so i was walking around and then and then right as we're exiting the the nice path because it's a long path uh, as we're exiting out some dog starts like charging towards us and i'm like no no i was trying to tell the dog no 
not because I'm afraid of the dog, but because Chica's going to go nuts. She's going to be a dog fight. And so I'm like grabbing up the, my dogs, you know, I'm like getting them closer to me as quickly as I, I can. And then, uh, you know, I notice, oh, it's, it's friendly. And so it's sniffing Brian and it's okay, but Chica's not having it. Okay, baby. <laughs> Chica's not having it. You know, and I'm like, get your dog, you know, and so they're just all come here, Brandon or whatever the dog's name was, you know, and um, or Buster, or I don't know, some something with a B. And so um, they're just walking casually, come here. And I'm like, get your dog, you know, like, you know, what the, f you know, shit, man. And so, um. And so, so the lady's calling and calling and calling it. And then finally it turns around and starts like, you know, galloping back to her. And, um, I'm like, you know, my dog will hurt Buster or Brandon or whatever the dog's name was. And she's like, ah, oh, your dog's so ferocious and vicious. And I said, my dog's on a leash. And she's like, but it's so far. I said, my dog is on a leash. She's like, I heard you the first time. I'm all, well, think about it. And then I just kept walking, you know. And so I got back here and I'm like, that lady really pissed me off. When she's like, your dog is ferocious. Like she was saying like it was my fault. So that kind of pissed me off a little bit. But I cooled down and I thought, you know what? Because there's some people out here, you know, that are staying here because maybe they they don't have a place or something. So I thought, okay, don't get mad at that lady. She's just a weirdo or one of those, like a Karen style, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, okay, this is because we're, we were about to leave. I wanted to take them on a walk before we left, you know? And so, um, I thought I'm going to go ahead and go to my rope and I'm going to give her a nice chunk of rope so she can tie her dog. And so we got ready and we got ready to go up there. I got the rope. And I drove up, but I parked the car away and I walked towards them with the rope. And like the lady grabbed her dog real quick. I said, I don't have my dogs with me. And uh, I go, I'm not here to be a jerk. You know, I said, but I brought this for you in case you needed rope to tie your dog. Okay, baby. And so... um. I said, you know, my dog is just doing his job, doing her job. She's going, she's going to, you know, go after any animal that comes towards me. She's, she's basically protecting me, you know, and she's, she's aggressive. You know, we know that we all know that, but yeah, she's, you know, cause even when we walk around, she walks next to me, you know, unless I'm like, go, go and walk because I like, I have to push her away. Cause otherwise she's like attached to me. So I'm like, go with Brian, go sniff her. So, you know, I have to kind of tell her to do that when there's, you know, when there's no dogs around, it's, it's okay for her to go and sniff around. So then she does. And so, you know, other than that, you know, or when we're walking back to the car, she'll walk like kind of beside me or near me. And I'm always trying to tell her because I'll trip over her, <laughs> you know? And so, oh, is that my ball? <laughs> no, she says. <laughs> and so, um... Yeah, you know, so I, I told her, I said, you know, this is not a, a dog park. This is not a off leash dog park. I said, there's animals around here that can hurt your pet, you know, and I said, you have the, the rule here is you have to have a dog. on. It's a, it's, you know what? It's, it's the law. You have to have dog on leash. It says it everywhere you go. It's like a public park. You got to have your dog on leash. And, and, you know, and I told her and I said, you know, some people don't have their dogs on leashes, but the dog listens. You guys were calling to your dog and it was not listening. So, you know, and I said, I live on the road and my dogs live on a leash. At night when we go to sleep, they still have their leash on. It's always on. They feel weird without it anyways. You know what I mean? Because they're so used to it. And um, 
And she goes, oh, I have old dog. Because that was one lady. It was two ladies. And so the old lady, and I said, here, here's for you. And she just, like, wasn't hearing it. So she's like, I have rope. And she walked away. And then the other one kept talking. She's like, well, I have two elderly dogs. And you see, they didn't even move. And I was like, okay, well, you know, that's good for you. You know, I said, it's not a problem. I said, but you know what? If something happens, like your dog comes towards my dog and I have a leash on the dog and my dog mangles your dog and your dog only gives a little scratch on my dog, I said, guess who's responsible for the vet bill? And she's like, well, I don't know. I said, it's you. You're responsible because my dog is on a leash. And so she's like, well, you know, and I was like, I'm just saying, you know, it's just it's about being responsible, you know. And she goes, um, she goes, well, how about this? How about, you know, because we're here for two weeks. And I'm like, all right, you know. And she's like, how about you don't walk? I said, no. No. I said, I'm going to enjoy myself and I'm going to walk wherever I want because my dogs are on leashes. And, you know, if just because you want to break the rules or break the law, I said, I'm a, I'm a law abiding citizen. I don't you know, if I'm not doing nothing wrong, then I'm going to do whatever I want. That's, you know, legal. And and like when I said that, she's just Ugh, and she starts messing with her solar. I'm like, well, you know, just that's just how it is, you know. And I said, you have a nice day. And I just walked away, you know. Yeah, I don't know who these people think they are. They don't own the freaking mountain. And, you know, it's about being responsible about your pet. There's all kind of creatures out here. Critters, creatures, whatever, you know. Don't you care about your pet? I mean, and then as I was walking out, like, I saw another little doggy on the side. That doggy was on a leash. So, what's the big deal? Put your damn dogs on leash. You ain't special. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I just walked down and I, and I got to the car and... And that was that, you know, like people, they, what, what, why are you so privileged? Trying to make me not enjoy my time here and go where I want to explore because you don't want to put your dogs on leashes. That's not my problem. I told her and she's like, well, they're oh, And I told her that too. I said, that is not my problem. It's not. I'm following the rules. How come you can't? You know what I mean? So... I'm going to probably walk that way tomorrow because it's a nice walk and it's a, probably a good video walk for to show you. Well, not to show you guys her, but how beautiful it is just walking through right there. It's not a big deal, you know. Anyways, that's what happened. I had words with that lady. She was like one of them Karen types. Like priv she thinks she's privileged and she should be able to do whatever she wants. Well, too bad. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's all I have. Basically, we came back. I mean, I fed them. Uh, we went to the lake. I almost didn't go because of the weather, but I thought, let me ask. Uh, so I said to Brian, I said, you want to go swimming? Because he knows that, this word. And then he like looks up and I was like, oh, all right, let's go. You know, because I felt like it wasn't even hot today. It says right now that it's like 90, not, well, 91, 92, whatever. It doesn't feel like that. But it's probably because we're up here. It feels good, you know what I mean? But I'm just going to finish my snack, and I'm going to take a shower before it gets too dark. And, yeah, we'll pro if it gets, you know what it is, if it gets too much, too hot, like the hottest part of the day, then I will take them back again to the lake. But I feel like I want to take a shower right now, so that's what I'm going to do. And maybe after then I'll, I'll feel hungry or something, I don't know. Um, I ate late, so, you know. Anyways, that was Chit Chat, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.